All right, y'all, we are live on this beautiful Sunday evening. I do pray everybody is very blessed in the name of the Messiah, Jesus, Yeshua. God is good, y'all. It's a great time to be alive. It's an exciting time to be alive. It's an exciting time to be trading Bitcoin. And uh, yeah, guys, tomorrow... Tomorrow is a, is a big, uh, in my opinion, tomorrow is, is, is decision time. Uh, because we're really coming to some very important levels with Bitcoin. And I kind of want to go over that right now. Um, I want to go over the key levels. I want to go over the doorway to $100 million Bitcoin. As well as the doorway to the negative $100 million Bitcoin. I think this week's going to be an exciting one, guys. So we're going to be going over the juicy stuff. Just chilling tonight, y'all. Just chilling, hanging out. You know? We'll be live momentarily. Stay tuned. I would like to get a uh, Big Mac meal. All right, y'all. We are live. Pikachu hat, no shirt, crooked glasses, and everything, guys. Microphone in the face. And we're short, guys. Whew, man, what a day it's been. I have to be honest with you guys. 
It's been a long day for me. A lot of work outside in the field, guys, harvesting potatoes, harvesting beans, harvesting squash, going to war against these squash bugs, guys. And uh, I've been pretty, I've, I've been short, I've been short, I've been short since last week, guys. I've just been short, I've been, I haven't had the biggest position sizes in the world here, but I've been basically short since last week, right? Last week in the VIP Discord on Monday, last Monday, a week ago, Boyan in the VIP stream, uh, I guess it was a Wednesday actually, he gave the setup to short from 24.2, and um, that's 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 what happened, guys. We 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 came right up to 24.2. It was a beautiful short, and then of course. Um, I missed that opportunity, but I've been taking some good short trades since then. So, the lower high we came up, we came up basically uh, to this golden pocket here. The first lower high we put in, shorted it to the exact dollar, and I've kind of just been adding to these trades as we've come down. Most recently was on Friday, this trade right here that I took. Um, you know, we we're looking to take the short from the um, the naked point of control in the 786 up here. We front ran that level a little bit, guys, but we were super, super close to it. I managed to get into that trade. And um, I did add a little bit more to the position today um, simply because uh, when we came up to this level and I saw this uh, very bearish uh, chickens drink water right here, uh, I added a little bit more to the trade as well. And actually, I don't even know if I've been in one trade or multiple trades this whole time. Long story short, long story short, I've been short since last Wednesday. And right now, the Bitcoin price is coming up to some, some pretty, pretty interesting levels here. Um, I would say that, uh, you know, the fact that we keep front running these uh, these key areas of, of resistance, let's say. We front ran that naked point of control. We front ran this golden pocket right here. Is kind of bearish in my mind. And I know rejection off the 200 uh, moving average people are talking about. People are talking about bear flags forming on the four hour. Right now, although all those things are true, I am looking at two key areas in this moment to kind of determine how next week is going to go. And that that's these two golden pockets right here. These two golden pockets are uh, the two key areas that I specifically am looking at for what is going to happen in the coming weeks. Uh, the coming week, right? Tomorrow's Monday. The markets are going to open up, and we're going to get, I feel, some volatility because there's so much, there's so much hype there's so much FUD. There's so much disagreement amongst YouTubers, crypto traders. I can't tell you how many opinions I've heard in the past few in the past few days, guys. Like people are very bullish. People are very bearish. Why are these levels so key? These levels are very key. Number one, this golden pocket up here does happen to be a, a naked point of control. Uh, we can see right here from the 21th of July, <clears throat> July 21th, which happens to be three days ago. We have this very high volume node right here. Um, it's, it's not too, too high, but uh, it lines up very nicely with that golden pocket. And not only that, but if we come to the, um, if we come to the daily time frame here, we can see that on the daily candles, this is the highest we were able to go with the candle bodies. And so for me, this this 23.3 23.4 golden pocket area is the uh the gateway the doorway the uh, the portal if you will into the uh twenty seven thousand dollar realm and then on the other side of that this golden pocket below us just so happens to be the value area high of this previous range and so right now it's very simple to me if we come below this Man, I will be looking for a big move to the downside, guys. I, I, you know, I will be looking to come down to at least twenty thousand five hundred, probably the the low nineteen thousands. And if we do come below here and do something like this, you can rest assured 
that uh, your boy Jason Casper is going to try to get into a pretty juicy short from there. But at the same time, this is support, and we have not come down to retest it. So if we, you know, you could, you could make the case that we did break out, retest, break out. Um, but if we're gonna if we're gonna be looking on higher term time frames, we actually did not really retest this, right? This is the two day right here, and the two day, you know, the two day. I do still think there's room. Just look. I'm just looking at market cipher. There's room for this momentum wave to come up a little bit higher. The fact that we put in a low right here. Um, actually, let's take a look at this low. So we put in a low just kind of front running this golden pocket which is also the valley area high um which potentially guys could give us bullish divergences right on some of these higher term time frames if we come down and get a nice bounce from this level right it, it is still support it's still support okay now i'm going to go ahead and take a look at this low let's take a look at this low on a tpo chart okay what day was it that we put in this low here this was the 23rd of july so let's go back to the 23rd of July and kind of see what happened when we put in that low. All right, so we have a poor low down here. We have a poor low on the 23rd of July, which tells me one of two things, all right? Either it tells me there's a very high probability, okay? It tells me that there's a very high probability that we come back down to this low and test it again, okay? And one of two things potentially could happen, either numero uno, right? We, uh, we actually come a little bit below it and then get a bounce, or numero dos, we, we lose that level altogether. So it's, it's a pretty important level, guys. Um, and I do think we're gonna come back down to it. I, I have my next uh, take profit down here, at around 21,850, give or take, right? Um, so it's very possible also that nothing too crazy happens for the next few days because people are getting so bullish and so bearish. We might just do something like this and then come up here and do something like that. We might just range for, for a little bit more in this, uh, in this general zone right here with, with, a pretty, with, a, with a clear low and a clear high. I mean, this is obviously very, very important resistance, resistance support once technically right consolidation so i would not be surprised if we find support here wreck everyone who's trying to short and then uh come back up at you know for, to potentially get into some some juicier short trades so th these are really the two key levels that i'm i'm looking at here now i want to take a look at some other things as well because i know that we have let's go to the um the daily time frame and let's go to indicators. Let's put on our moving average. And let's go ahead and do the uh, No, this is not the one I'm, this is not the moving average that I am uh, looking at, looking for. This is not the moving average that I'm looking for. What's the moving average that I'm thinking of? You guys know. Let me know in the chat. What moving average, um, I thought it was the 200 daily moving average that we rejected off of. There was some kind of important moving average that we rejected off of. But uh, you know what? The fact that I don't know this is why, by the way, you should not uh, take this as financial advice because I'm an, I'm an idiot. I don't know anything about trading. I'm the worst trader in the world. Um, but you should like the video and you should subscribe to the channel. And by the way, if you do want to join the VIP Discord where we give these juicy trade setups and all the juicy levels and multiple live streams every single week, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. And also, while I'm shilling my uh, community, let me show the trading course, guys. 25% discount in the description of the video if you use the coupon code Juicy Discount. This is changing the way thousands of people approach the markets. This will give you the blueprint to become a more confident, more profitable trader. Um, yeah.
So, guys, on the daily time frame, we have this red dot. We have the money flow curving to the upside. I honestly think that we could see, I think we could see it, it go either way. We have very, very, very little market structure coming up to the 27, 28K area. And as long as we're holding this 21.8K support, this would be a proper breakout retest. This is pretty much, I mean, if we do something like this on the daily time frame with the money flow crossing over, this is a very healthy retracement. This is a very, very healthy retracement. And if we take our fib from the low to the high and we put on some other levels, you know, you could, you could even make the case that we are bouncing off the 382, right? You could, you could say that. So interesting stuff, guys. Honestly, it's very interesting stuff. And I'm excited to see what happens tomorrow because um, I'm either looking to get, I'm looking to get into a juicy trade either way. When New York opens tomorrow, I am looking to get myself into a juicy potential trade. So let's pop into the chat here and let's see what's going on. Shout out to Matt Speed Hunters. What's going on, Matt? I'm not too sure uh, what you're referring to. Let me see if I can find your old comment. Uh, we dropped off the monthly VWAP. But you mean an old weekly level? Okay. Cool, cool. Um, shout out to DC, who says, uh, Billy Casper saved my life literally. Well, I'm sure that that's not true. But uh, I am glad that uh, <laughs> that uh, you found the content helpful. <laughs> shout out to Slow, Loud, and Bangin'. Says other traders say you can't get the tops and bottoms every time. I then think yes you can. His name is Jason. Well guys, I don't get the exact top and bottom every time, but my style of trading is very knife catchy, right? I I am a very knife catchy trader. I am. Um, can I confirm that the naked daily point of control is twenty three point three or twenty three oh sixty? Well, I am currently on a uh, daily volume profile chart with the tick size of 50 and with the th tick size of 50 that's giving me the naked at uh, 23425 so it's around that zone guys that's the thing like these 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 are high volume nodes right they're zones but we're also looking at a golden pocket up in this area and we're also looking on the daily chart where the the candle bodies were unable to close higher than 23.4 ish so it's more of like you know a, a zone that we're looking at and you can then use the indicators to determine where exactly you want to take that trade from right so the crypto killers what is a naked point of control well it's kind of like me right now guys right no clothes on um but no in all seriousness a naked point of control is if you're analyzing the volume from a certain time period in this case, it, let's say a naked daily point of control would be if you're looking at the volume that traded every single day. So if we go to a four hour chart right now and we come to our indicators and we go to um, session volume profile, this is now giving me the high volume nodes that happened every single day, right? That happened every single day. And um, if we even if we turn off the price right now, each one of these red lines is the highest volume node for that day. Now, if you put in a high volume node for that day and the price never comes back to touch it on the next day, then it's naked. So for example, right here, we can see that we put in a point of control right here, okay? Now, a few days later, price came up and wicked into that point of control, which then makes it put on clothes. It's now clothed point of control. It's no longer naked. It's naked if it's never been touched by price after that day ends. And so right now you can see that we have a naked point of control up here around this golden pocket. And you can also see we have one right here around this 22706 area, which by the way, depending on where we put our low, if this is the bottom here, would also have confluence with a golden pocket, which also 
Uh, yeah, that's about it. it. would have confluence with a golden pocket if this is the low that we put in right here. And so that's what a naked point of control is. And the reason why they're important is because they're giving us areas where there was a lot of volume. And when, when there was a lot of volume in the market at a certain price, we can typically expect price to react at that price again. And so these are levels that we want to mark on our chart. And these are things that we want to just keep note of in the back of our head, not necessarily to always enter into a trade from there, but just to say, okay, if there happens to be a naked point of control here, uh, I should take note of that, especially if there's a golden pocket in that area or some other confluence, right? So I hope that made sense. Um, we have a naked point of control at 21,900 and an Igor session. That's interesting to know. Any, any chance I can take a look at ETH? I, I may take a look at ETH uh, at some point. There's a huge bear flag forming on the 4-hour USDT, but huge bullish div on the daily from the June 9th. Okay, so let's see. A bullish div on the daily from June 9th. Oh, Um, I don't see a bull div on the daily from June 9th. Are we looking? What are you looking at? Are you looking at? Are you looking at like an order flow chart? What are we looking at? I typically don't look at the daily order flow chart. Um. In fact, I never do, but I probably should, honestly. I probably should. But uh, I, I don't know. What are we looking at here? Because uh, I don't see a bull, a bull div from June 9th. I do not. Oh, USDT. Oh, oh, I see. I don't know. I, I haven't studied that chart, honestly. So I haven't studied that chart. You have not. Yeah, I could take a look at ETH as well. I could take a look at ETH. I might as well do that. What do I think of the parallel channel? Um, I mean, what channel are we talking about? Because you could, you could draw a few here. But are we just talking about this? Because if we're just talking about this, then I think that I wouldn't consider us being back inside until we lose 21.8. Once we lose 21.8 for me, then I'm looking, I'm looking for more downside. I'm looking for more downside. So this is the short trade, guys, that I'm currently in. I, this is, this is, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to be playing this in the coming week. It's the weekend. I'm always I'm always very cautious on the weekend, guys. I'm always very cautious on the weekend. In an ideal world, I, I thought we were going to come up a little bit higher, honestly. I, I thought we were going to come up and hit a golden pocket. I didn't really trade today. I didn't really look at the charts today or do any fresh technical analysis until this evening because I had a lot of work to do, and I didn't want my mind to be clouded with the charts. But I thought that we were going to come up and reject from this golden pocket right up here so we front ran that quite a bit we front ran that quite a bit so hmm. interesting interesting i would like to see us right now i would really like to see us come down and test the 21.8 level right now because that is going to be the next major area of support Shout out to Crypto Tom. Thanks for being here. Shout out to D's 2.0, who says noob. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm a very horrible trader. Extremely bad. So make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. But definitely don't take this as financial advice. Because, um, you know, I am not a financial advisor. But uh, what I do often do is trade and drive, which is very, very dangerous. And so I would advise you to never trade and drive 
even if the price is bouncing off that golden pocket and finding really nice resistance at resistance, it's very tempting to take your eyes off the road and look at the charts, okay? But you have to remember, the kids are in the back. And there's no cops around because you live in the middle of nowhere. But is it really worth your family's life for the trade? Eh. Uh, you know, it could be. It depends on the situation, guys. It depends on the situation. You know, I always tell my wife when, whenever I dip out of life to, to try and catch a trade, I say, but I've been waiting forever for this. And she says, you, you say that every time. She says, you say that every single time. It's true, though. We've been waiting forever. We're at the macro golden pocket again. You know what I'm saying? Did we reject at a golden pocket? Um, we did not reject at a golden pocket. We front ran a golden pocket. So basically, we had a golden pocket at 23063, and we came up to 22986. I think on the USD pair, actually, because I'm trading USDT right now, on the USD pair, let's check it out. Did we... Yeah. Ooh. Wow. No, the USD pair also front ran the golden pocket, guys. Yeah, we've been getting front run a lot lately. Like uh, the tr the trade set up from Friday morning. You know, looking to short from twenty three seven seven one, we literally wicked up to like twenty three six six something before the drop. So we've been getting front run a lot lately. And I did happen to get into this short here on Friday, but it was not because we hit that level. It was because we just had a chickens drinking water type setup there. And so that is that is how I got into the trade. But this next golden pocket we have down here, guys, uh, 21.8, this is key support in my opinion, guys. It's key support in my opinion. So we'll see what happens. If we, if we grab the liquidity from, from here, uh, we could get another move to the upside, and it wouldn't surprise me, right? It would be so typical of Bitcoin because people are super bearish right now. If we do something like this, it would not surprise me at all if we then come up to this uh, this area right here where we have resistance. And uh, then all the people who are short from last week, most of them will be stopped out, and then we could get a real big move down. Or... Again, we, we really might break out of here. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. I mean, anything can happen. That's why we have to be prepared for whatever can happen. And look at the charts. See, see what we see on our indicators. Do we have, you know, when we get to key areas of support, do we have uh, bullish signs? If not, then, you know, we can expect lower. If we see bullish signs at key support, you know, we can expect a bounce from that, from that key support, right? And vice versa. So... We just have to be aware of where the levels are. And then we can... Um... Yeah, I see the downward sloping channel as well. So let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, we, we've got this, uh, this channel as well here. And, uh, you know, very interesting, <laughs> again, that we, we front ran it like there. Um, oof. But um, this has not been respected too many times, right? I mean, we, had, we have our three areas where we can start to pull our channel from. But we never really respected this low down here. And we never respect this high up here. But you could say we roughly have. Um, but if this channel is valid, which... <laughs> I don't like it too much, then, um, you know, the, the next bottom of it is going to be then below even these lows that we put in back here, which, in my opinion, would, would be quite bearish, uh, just from a market structure standpoint, right? So that is something we have to keep in mind. Shout out to Friday Phil. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Do I think it will crash given the recent four-hour trend? Um, well, here's the thing. So the four-hour, let's let's pop back on our um, the four-hour trend. I mean, it's been uh, the market structure locally is bearish, right? And I would say the four-hour market cipher B also looks pretty bearish, but but 
there's room here for bullish divergences. There's room for bullish divergences when we come down to our key support. That's the only thing that's keeping me slightly bullish. But if I <laughs> if I had to bet, I mean it's it is hard to say. I could I could see this right now as being bullish or bearish. Bullish because money flow is getting higher. And even though money flow is curving down right now on like the six and the four hour, from the beginning of this little consolidation range thing that we've been in, money flow has been getting higher, right? So what if now we come in, we put in another purple wave here that's even lower than that first purple wave, and then we put in a higher blue wave, right? So we could look at this as being bullish, but uh, we could also more locally, uh, if we're just looking at this little chunk of price action, say, no, this is super bearish, money flow is curving to the downside, but... Um, I, I could see it going either way. That's that's why tomorrow is key. Tomorrow is key. When when New York opens tomorrow, I, well, even even before New York. Um, but typically, I, I I like I like to. New York will typically give us the direction for the day in general, right? So. That's what that's what I'm looking forward to because we're at such key levels here, like key resistance, key support. I think we'll kind of get the vibe for the week starting tomorrow. Um, w pattern macro testing the neckline right now yeah right right exactly exactly this could be a breakout with a retest and this retest could happen with bullish divergences so that it the bullish scenario is this right the bearish scenario is this and of course, this could happen in multiple ways. Like honestly, the bearish scenario could happen like this, and then um, like tomorrow, it would not surprise me at all if tomorrow New York opens and we get a massive dump. Let's say we just kind of chill out all night here, right? Let's say we chill out all night. You know, we do this, chop around, and then tomorrow New York opens and we dump, right? We dump immediately, and then it wouldn't surprise me if we bounce up to this uh, golden pocket and then get get the real dump so tomorrow could be a bullish day right tomorrow could be a bullish day come up to here and then dump overnight during the asian session right not that i want to bring race into this talking about the asia session but um i'm not racist at all guys um in fact believe it or not i, I get a lot of discrimination because i am a um I, I am a transracial, transgender, trans incel lesbian. And it's tough. It's tough to be all those things, guys. The discrimination in the workplace is, is tough. That's actually why I became a trader, because I couldn't get a job, because all my bosses were so racist. They just couldn't let a black woman work for them, which I, I took a lot of offense to that. But it is tough, guys. So I am, I identify as a black woman who is also a um, a lesbian, so that's why I'm married to a woman. But I'm also a trans incel, which means I identify as somebody who's completely uh, celibate, right? I've never had sexual relations before, which has led me to a lot of legal problems as well because I'm currently taking my son to court because he won't stop calling me dad. And I find that very offensive because first of all, son, I'm not your father because I'm celibate. I've never had sexual relations. That's how I identify. But secondly, I'm not a man either. I'm a woman, right? So if I was your parent, I'm not your dad. Crazy stuff, guys. You know, this world is crazy. It makes me so angry how racist everybody is, right? They're so racist. And the worst part is every time somebody says like, I'm not racist, I'm like, the very fact you say you're not racist proves how racist you are, right? It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. But hey, man, haters gonna hate. You know, haters are gonna hate. You know, I'm just gonna do me. I'm just gonna do me. Shout out to money. Shout out to money. <laughs> Yeah, it's cra yeah, crypto sense. I have to tell him, son, I'm not your father, son. You know? You know, I and he only listens to me when I get stern. Son. 
not your father. Shout out to, uh, shout out to, uh, Kurt, Kurt Isney. What's going on, man? God bless you. Do I have a short right now? I do. I do. I do have a short going right now. This is my short right here. So, we'll see what happens tomorrow, guys. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Shout out to Ryan Black. Shout out to Ralph Benjamin, who says they signed something last week to accelerate Agenda 2030. Interesting. Didn't know that. Did not know that. Shout out to Din, who identifies as a, as a successful trader. That's great. That's great. In code we trust identifies as a billionaire. Shout out to Kevin Snyder. Kevin Snyder, may the Lord bless you and protect you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and may he turn his face towards you and give you shalom. In Jesus' name, I pray you're super blessed. Am I going to do another exo vid? Yeah, I might. I might. I ha you know, we did a whole we we did a whole course on it. Yeah, Wolf and Bear. I know my son. <sighs> yeah, we ha we have some things to work out. I might have to disown him. Honestly, I might have to disown him. Okay, so it's Blaze says um, Jason. I think we're in the first high before a slightly higher high, close to twenty eight k with bearish divergences. Yes, man, that is one of the situations that I personally am looking for. So. <laughs> right that would be really really nice so let's say we do come down here and get some kind of bounce and uh, then we come up to the 28k level and uh, we do something like this right on the daily that could be really nice that could be really nice so oh wait you guys can't can you guys see my <laughs> hang on let me put on trading view here whoops my bad there we go yeah so we come down get a bounce from this zone right in here and then we come up on market cipher b and put in that massive bearish div on the daily that could be a very juicy uh potential short trade because 28k is a very important level 30k is a very very important level um There's so many different <laughs> there's so many different scenarios I could play out, right? Last range, we came up for the high, right? Looked like we were breaking out, but then we lost it big time. The only difference we have right now is this time we've actually taken out all the highs, right? This range we didn't take out the highs. This range we did. We we've taken out the highs. So that's why I think tomorrow's going to be such a wild card because. Over the week, like we can't, we just can't trust weekend price action, right? We just can't trust weekend price action. Like, uh, what happened last weekend? It's the twenty sixth. So what was what was seven days ago? The nineteenth. Wow. So it was yeah, we were pumping last weekend, I guess. Hmm. That's so interesting that the pump happened over the weekend, and now this uh, this dump is happening over a weekend. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it just would not surprise me if we give all this back, right? If we give <laughs> if we give all that back. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. So James shorted twenty two eight hundred and closed early in profit. It's all good, man. You know, I've done that a million times. And you know what? You're always better off closing a trade in profit than uh, taking a losing trade. And a lot of times when I close trades in profit and I wish I had kept them open, I, uh, I it ends up being kind of good for me anyway. I say most of the time. Make sure to like the video, guys. We've got about 300 people in here, only about 150 likes. So that, does, that really hurts my self-esteem. You guys are all racist. Um, shout out to Caldonis1. Um, shout out to Mardano who short. Brandon bought some Adam on spot. Nice, nice. 
Are we below 22k right now, Friday, Phil? On Bybit, not yet. Um, let's check it out here. Oh, I guess we did. Yeah, we came below it. We came below it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, who knows? You know, obviously, if we just dump like crazy from here, I wouldn't be too upset about it. Right? I wouldn't be too upset about it. Short money is, is better than long money anyway, especially now that Bitcoin's so cheap because, like, you know, the lower we come, the more uh, percentage gains there, there are for us here. Um, let's see. So next next major support is going to be right around here, guys. <coughs> around that 21.8 area. Um, I just got an alert that says major CDW GP value area high potential long. Yeah, looking for a potential long here uh, from this golden pocket. Let's see what happens, guys. You know, we're not here yet. If, <laughs> you know, if we're looking like this, it's not it's not the juiciest looking, uh, it's not the most bullish looking thing in the world, honestly. It's, it's not. Um, but it's also not the most bearish looking thing in the world. Getting some pig nipple divergences here on the 12 minute. Well, are they divergences? No, they're not divergences. <clears throat> I would love to see some pig nibbles forming down here. Let's see on the six minute. Six minutes getting some pig nibbles, but the money flow is looking like crap. Uh, but at the same time, money flow is coming up on the six minute. Yeah, so the six minute is getting some pig nibbles, guys. So if anyone doesn't know what pig nibble divergences are, it's uh, market cipher B is, um, where's my pig nibble divergences? It's hard to find all my stupid little pictures here. But, um, oh, do, do I even have the pig nipples anymore? Are the pig nipples gone? Oh, man. That's not very healthy. Let me see. Ah, here we go. The pig nipple divergences, guys. Right? When the market cipher B is getting higher and higher like that, but the price is getting lower and lower, this can be a pretty bullish sign, right? Because as you can see, the direction of the pig nibbles is going toward the uh, the anal cavity, which then will <laughs> the price up, right? You could just imagine, you know, when those pigs, when the flatulence is released, right? <laughs> we can get a little move to the upside there. So we're gonna have to see how this is is going on here. Let, let's let's. You know, you could you could you could even make the case that the one minute has pig nipple divergences going on as well. You could make that case too. Let's take a look at an order flow chart, right? Let's let's take a look. What's happening here? Wow, wow, we have lots of longs uh, getting wrecked right here, and lots of shorts opening up right here. Let's go down to a lower term time frame right now. And let's see what's happening. Well, I would say that uh, right now, this does look slightly bullish on a very low term time frame because we have a lot of shorts opening up here. We have a lot of shorts open at these lows and uh, the price is holding right now. So especially if we come above this high right here of 22.050, we could have a lot of shorts uh, get squeezed and when I say a lot it's all relative guys I mean this is a, this is happening on some some pretty low volume right I mean uh, not 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 well, actually yeah it's happening on some pretty pretty low volume honestly but wow we, we've, we've got shorts opening up here guys we we have a lot of shorts opening up right now people are shorting right now this this is actually starting to look kind of bullish just very slightly on, on a low term time frame. This is the one minute, right? So well, let's let's see something. Let's let's go to the one minute. Let's see something. I'm excited that we're coming down to a key key area of support. We've got a lot of people opening up shorts here.
Yeah, look at this, man. People are shorting. People are really opening up shorts right here. People think we're we're coming down. People really think we're coming down much lower here. Let me remove the pinned comment from my screen. <laughs> Three hours printing a blood diamond. Shorts get wrecked. Shout out to Garrett who made his first trade last night. Oh, is it... Uh, If you're up 2K, Garrett, so here's what you do, man. Just take partial profits and then move your stop loss to the entry. That's what I do. I've taken partial profits and I move my stop loss to my entry and uh, go to sleep, man. Don't worry about it. You know? That's what I would do. That that's, takes all the pressure and stress off trading. Stop loss to entry, take partial profits, man, and then if it runs, you get more. And if it, take $1,000 out, right? You made 2K, take $1,000 out. That's a good win, thousand bucks. Stop loss to your entry to guarantee a thousand dollar win. If you wake up tomorrow and we've dumped down to zero, you've got some juicy profit. But if you get stopped out of your entry, then you have a thousand dollar win. It's a it's a win win situation, my friend. It's a win win situation. I agree, Stephen. This. Uh, this crypto price action has been extremely racist, you know? It's been extremely racist. Very cisgendered as well. Extremely cisgendered. You know? I hate I hate when people say there's only two types of candlesticks, bullish or bearish. Right? What about dojis? You know what I'm saying? What about dojis? And I hate when people, you know, coloring your candlesticks different colors is a social construct anyway. If anybody wants to be racist, if anybody wants to renounce the racism, we need to make it all the same color, right? Because there's no difference between a green and a red candlestick, right? And I only use those words green and red because that's the only way I can communicate with all you bigots out there. But this is the real way we should be looking right right now, right? All right, so we're coming down to this area of support. And I'm sorry, guys, but, you know, I'm old school, right? I got to put on my colors, right? Because it freaks me out when everything's all the same. Let's see here. All right, let's take a look at the 12 minute. The 12 minute, I have to say, does not look too bullish. We're getting the floppy butt cheeks. We did have snake eyes, and there is a potential here for a bullish divergence as well. Um, and this also technically could be you know, there's the potential here, like, you know, for the chickens to drink from this from this level here. This might be a CDW, right? It really might be. Um, we have bullish divs, pig nipples on the one minute. Potential bullish divs on the 12 minute. Personally, I would really like to come a little bit lower. I don't like this. I don't like this kind of price action for potential CD dubs. Right? I don't really. Look at that, guys. The 618, though. You know? Giving us something. The 618 giving us something. Wow, look at these shorts, guys. People shorting, shorting, shorting into the 618. That's crazy. Why would you do that? Why would you shorten to the 6 Juanita? 
but we do have um, I mean, I guess, you know, there's nothing too, too bullish happening here. But even still, I, I'm just not the type of person who likes to short coming down into, uh, coming down into support. I'd much rather, I'd much rather short high. I agree. I agree, Money. It's, it is unfair that some candles are have different prices than other candles. The price should just remain equal, right? Across the whole board. Yeah, well, it's just, you know, it's remnants of the patriarchy. That's honestly what it is, you know? Just men having their way. I mean, why candlesticks, right? It looks like a phallus, you know? Clearly designed by men. Pfft. Men are horrible. You know, why can't we all just be women? Oh, Sorry, I don't mean to use the words men and women, guys. I don't mean to confuse anybody or be racist here. You know, I just got back from college. That's why all these things are on my mind. You know? So... All right, let's 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 zoom in pretty pretty deep here and see what we got going on. Let's go even zoomier here. Mm. Yeah, we have we have shorts opening, but actually a lot of shorts closing as well. We've got shorts opening, shorts closing. We have shorts opening up in here, up in here, up in here. So let's see. Pretty much, there. Pretty much every short that's open right now is. Uh, well, we ha we actually have some shorts that are underwater. We have some that are underwater. Oof, you know, mm. that 12 minute guys, you know, it's dancing right on the line of a, of a divergence, but, um, all right, I just got an alert, <laughs> I just got an alert that we're touching the VWAP, which is strange, okay, all right, we came a little bit lower into the golden pocket. Let's check out our one minute. Yeah, money flow not looking so great. Not looking too too great. But this is support, guys. This is the area of support. Let's let's put on our. Ooh, look at that! Wow. Wow. So th this this you know this twenty one eight six one area. This really is our support here. Wow. A lot of people shorting support, guys. This is interesting that we've got people shorting support. You know, a lot of people shorting support. Money flow looks like crap. Doesn't look too bullish, but we do have pig nipples. Do have some pig nipple divs going on here. Let's 
So let's see what happens because, you know, these are the types of things we have to be cautious with. So if we if we come up a little bit and then we, like, reach get a retracement with some bullish CVD, it could mean more upside. But um, I'll have to wait and see how it's looking here. And in the meantime, let's pop into the chat. Is 2800 a better support? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is a better support. There are much better supports below us, but this is like the door to much lower. So 0 to 0 says 16K Bitcoin very soon. I mean, honestly, guys, we're at, we're at a support. So, you know, this is not the time to be overly bearish, right? It's never a good idea to be overly bearish at support, right? It's never a good idea. Shout out to Memory Man, by the way. The 18 minute says short. We, we, <laughs> we have a lot of people shorting here. We have a lot of people shorting here. It's never a good idea. That's never a good idea. Look at this. More shorts opening up here. But uh, if, pri if price holds this level and we keep seeing shorts coming in, that's bullish, right? If, price does, if, if we keep seeing all these shorts coming in and price continues to get higher like this, that is a bullish thing, right? When people short support, it gives fuel for a move to the upside, right? So we have to keep that in mind, right? When people short support, it can ruin our shorts, right? We could be short from higher. People start shorting support, you know? Don't ruin it for us, right? Don't ruin it for us. Yeah, Spartan Wrestler. What's going on, bro? Yeah, short short the bottom along the top. That's the way to do it, man. That's the way to do it. So, you know, we've got uh Look at look at this, right? All these people who shorted the bottom right at that golden pocket. You know, bad bad move. Bad move. Now some of them are closing out. They're more closing out now. They realized it was a bad move, right? They realized it was a bad move. So now we got some positive delta coming in here. So this right now could give us maybe a, an opportunity where, you know, if we see a change in, uh, if we come down to retest this box with bullish things, trigger waves, absorption of shorts, this is the, you know, for the scalp, this is how I would prefer to get in to it, right? If I was giving trade signals, which I'm not, by the way. I, I don't give trade signals. Not on live YouTube channels. Sometimes I do, but... Try and save that stuff for the VIP. So we do now have shorts closing out. Um, we still have... A few open, not too many, not too many anymore, not too many anymore. But if we can come above, especially if we come above 2220, we have a lot of shorts. Uh, you know, wow. Yeah, we have like four, five, six, eight million, eight million shorts here that will be trapped 
if we come above that level. And I know open interest is going down, but um, we can see that even though open interest is going down, there's shorts opening up here. All right, so I wouldn't be surprised if we find some kind of resistance at the $22,000 area. Let's see if we come up to back test the $22,000 area because that's the high volume node. We had a lot of vo short volume right here at uh, 22,000. But, um, you know, 22,000, this, uh, this could be, uh, don't short support is, is the moral of the story here, guys. You know, don't short support is the moral of the story. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, guys. Don't do it. But, so this is our first, first area of resistance right here. And the reason why we can tell that this is our first area of resistance is because we have these previous lows and we also have this area where the price formed a, a retest of that low, right? So now, potentially, if this is going to hold this resistance, if we're going to see a change in market structure on a low time frame, then we look to the retest of the Golden Pocket 786-ish area. Right, so something like this, right? If we want to safely get into a safe trade. Of course, there's different ways to approach this. Like some people would just say, you know what? I saw absorption down here at support. I'm gonna take a little trade. Do I think that the 200 MA weekly rejection means much lower price? Um, I don't know. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's turn off all our, our fun things on the chart here. Where's this 200 moving average anyway? 200 weekly moving average? I don't see it. Does it not work on... Uh, it probably doesn't work for... Uh, is this... This is the 200 weekly moving average. Um, this is market cap dominance. <laughs> Hang on. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're, maybe we're going to cross back up above it, right? Maybe we'll cross back up above it. Because we've been below it. Maybe we're just swimming a little bit down below. Swimming a little bit down below. So this is the moment, the moment we've all been waiting for, right? There's a lot of things that could happen here, right? We could come down and do something like this. We could come down and do something like this and still get a move to the upside. I would say it is encouraging. Oof, but those shorts are closing out. You know, the more people shorting support, the better for, for long trades. And... Um, Let's come back to our 12 minute here. You know, I, this is not, is obviously not the most bullish thing in the world, right? But, um, 
nonetheless, is that a divergence? I mean, technically we could draw one from here, but can we draw one from here? It's hard to say, right? It's really hard to say. It's really hard to say. I mean, either way, we're at support, right? So... Yeah, I've got I've got a lot of uh, confluence down here at the the twenty one point six level. Yeah, twenty one point six to twenty one point eight. That's that's kind of the zone that I'm looking at as well. Caldonis. Uh, Sunday night dump has been by my go to money maker. It seems every week it dumps. Nice, incoming FOMO sell off maybe, dump it maybe. Asian market loves to short. Yeah, yeah, it's true they do. Uh, somebody lost their shorts in Carl's Maserati. Shout out to Rabbi Eduardo. Shalom, Achi, Mashlam Cha. Did you get? Did you get into any shorts recently? Oof, floppy butt cheeks on the six minute. Yeah, the six minute looks bearish as heck, man. I'm not gonna lie. Six minute does look bearish as heck. How's the 18 minute look? Huh. We might we might be able to get a little something from here, right? I mean, we might be able to. Yeah, I mean, this zone is our support in general, so not the exact level. If I start seeing 12-minute butt cheeks here, if, you know, if I start seeing, I mean, you know, if we start seeing this even on the 12-minute or even if we start seeing this on the 12-minute, it could be, it could be good, right? The juicy left cheeks, the skinny right cheeks, you know, good old Dolores, the waitress at the diner. Too soon for the golden pocket at 20k. Yeah, I mean that we might get that golden pocket at 20k. Um, I think it's not at 20k. I think it's at like, I think it's like 20.5k, right? Um. Well, I guess are you pulling it from the low, 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 right? You're pulling it from this super low. In which case, yeah, that's that's actually a nice one. That is a nice one. That's a nice one. In fact, now that I think about it, eh, eh, um, you know what golden pocket I like better than that one is this one here at, um, like 21K ish, 20, 20.5, because the 20.5 is still a super important volume node for me. Like 20.5 was such an important level. Once we retested this as as our support, I was looking for much higher prices, and we got them. So now I'm looking for support there on the way down. Let's zoom back in here and check out what's going down. Let's check out what is going down. Hmm. Not really liking it too much. Not liking it too much. No, I'm not liking it too much. It's not looking so great. You know, because we don't see the shorts opening up here. We don't see absorption. We don't see it. We don't see it.
nonetheless, Golden Pocket, man, you know, they will give a reaction. Even if we, it's rare that we slice through a Golden Pocket like butter. Like butter from another udder. Right? Butter from another udder. You know, that's, that's farm talk, guys. You know? I love you like butter from another udder. We could replay March with the 50 moving average, or we could project the 20 moving average from here and go to 17K. At 20.8 as a weekly support as well. Is 20.8 a weekly support? Let's check it out. Yep, it is. It's a weekly support. It's also a daily support, you know? It's also a daily support. It's the five minute chart right here. Let's go to the one minute. Yeah, I would have really liked to see Oh, excuse me guys, it's late for me. More volume, some absorption here. I think I'm gonna short. If this one minute can give us a green dot, but um let's see if maybe we could change market structure here locally. Did I ever get someone for the Excel thing? Yeah, I'm talking to a few people for the Excel thing. I'm talking to a few people. And if you reached out to me, I will get back to you. Where did I enter short? Um, I... Well, tonight I added to a short that I already had open from Friday. So I've kind of been short over the weekend. But on Friday, I got short... Um, over here, I was. I, this was. This is the short that I took on Friday. The one from the Discord. The the setup got front run a little bit because we were looking to take out that naked point of control at twenty twenty three seven seven one. We got front run a little bit. So basically, what happened was twenty three seven seven one. Come over to the twelve minute time frame. And. We did, um, let's see, 23771. This was it up here. Actually, I have a video that walks through it. So if you go to my YouTube channel, check out the. This short right here. Scalping New York Open. All right, y'all. I just got into this juicy Bitcoin short scalp, and it was a chicken's drinking water. I want to talk about how I got into the trade. The New York opened, and we started to pump, and we had a previous high that we were kind of respecting the value area high of the range, and we came above it with bearish divergences on the one-minute time frame, money flow coming down, massive bearish divs on the three-minute as we take out the high. Now, we front-ran my level by just a little bit. I'm not saying we're going to dump like crazy here. We have... We did dump like crazy there. The VWAP, we have this level that I'm looking to long, but we, we fell right through that VWAP. When you see this happen, guys, it makes for a very easy, very juicy short setup. Yeah, so that was my original short setup there, and so I, it was just a scalp. Wasn't expecting such a big dump, guys. But um, yeah, that's that's that's, and then I added I added to the short when we got this tonight, so. And I wasn't really paying too much attention to the charts because uh, I had such a I had a good entry that I could just kind of um, hold, right? I had taken most of the trade out, so I added an, a little bit more to it to get my entry right at this high. So.
All right, let's see what's happening now in real time. Anything good? Ooh, honestly, it looks like we do have some longs coming in, and unless we unless we change market structure here, this actually looks kind of bearish because we're putting in lower highs and we're having longs opening up, potentially getting absorbed here. We might get a pretty big dump right now. <laughs> we might dump like crazy right now. We might dump like crazy right now. We might, we might. I'm not saying we're gonna, right? Because there's, there's, but we do see some longs opening up here. Looks like CryptoFace is, is about to go live. I know, right, Memory Man? I do have a YouTube channel. Mo very few people know that. By the way, guys, let's get some likes in here, man. We got, like, 500 people, only 200 likes. That really hurts my self-esteem, and it does make me think that you guys are transphobic and racist. Well, being transphobic is racist. You know, one in the same. Trans is the, is the new, new minority nowadays. If you haven't heard, if you haven't heard, We have one yellow X on the 15 minute. Cryptoface put out a tweet about a market cipher bot. Interesting. Interesting. Is that Cynthia? Interesting, man. Bullish Gartley forming on the lower time frames. Sunshine Girl loved the stream I did recently with Cryptoface. That was a fun stream. I always like streaming with Crypto Face. You know, I always do. He's a cool guy. He's a good guy. Crypto Face is a good guy. I like Crypto Face a lot. Alright, well, we are consolidating here. I hope we get some crazy action, guys. Uh, that would be fun for the stream. It typically happens as soon as I end a stream is when we get the craziness. But it's getting kind of late, which is a bummer, man. Because I do have to wake up early tomorrow. We got the VIP live stream tomorrow. Um, got some errands to run tomorrow. Got to go to the chiropractor tomorrow. Got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. Can I do another another one what stream with Crypto Face? I'm sure we'll do another stream together at some point.
Shout out to Sir Munchalot. Uh, one, I did not see the message with the channel in it, man. I'm sorry. I'll have to uh, check it out. We have three yellow X's on the six minute. Let's put on Marcus Cypher A. Interesting. Um, yeah, let's check out the one minute as well. Let's check out the 12. Let's check out Tino's indicator. Got some red vectors. You know, we might <laughs> we might get a move up. We might get a little move up here. Wow. You know. We might get another little move up here. At, at some point, I, I would not be surprised if tomorrow a lot of people get wrecked. A lot of people get wrecked tomorrow. Would not surprise me. Because like um you know it's a weekend. I could see I could see us getting a bull trap tomorrow. A bull trap followed by massive dumpage. That's kind of what I'm hoping for tomorrow. That's what I am hoping for tomorrow. I'm not ashamed to admit it. All right, so we don't have much market participation right now. Volume is low. People are closing out their trades. Shorts are closing. Longs are closing. We did have a few longs open here. They closed. <clears throat> Boring price action, guys. Typical, typical of a... Whenever whenever a stream is going on, right? Price action is boring. Only up? Nah, we might come down. I don't know. I don't know. I love trading, though. Investing is, is tough, man. I feel bad for the people who bought crypto um, and aren't traders. And now they're like holding these bags. But, um, man, I love trading derivatives, derivative futures, you know? It really does. It really is nice. You know, I love not owning the asset, right? I own nothing, and I'm very happy about it. That's what's so great about derivative futures. Yeah, I know that that 17 this this is the level like this is the level. This is the level. If we're going to bounce, it's going to be from around this level. <clears throat> you know? And we've got this thing going on too. You know, we've got this uh we've got this falling wedge. And if we just take the measured move, you know, our target is, you know, way up here, right? You know, just kidding, guys, just kidding. How's the 12 minute looking? You know, 12 minute gives me a little hope, guys. The 12 minute gives me a little bit of hope here.
yeah, I own I own nothing and I'm super happy about it. You know, I don't want to carry around all that Bitcoin. You know? No, I'd rather just I'd rather just own nothing. You know? When I when I go to work, someone else can use my shower. So what? There's pubes in the drain that aren't mine. It's not a big deal. We're all made from the same stuff, carbon. You know? Speaking of carbon, man, carbon is so bad. We should probably all just sterilize ourselves. Um, you know? Don't want to reproduce around these parts. Yeah, it does not look too bouncy, does it, Andrew? <laughs> no. No. Do I hope for up or down? Well, if we're going to come up, I hope for more. I hope for a, a clear a clear signal. Um Peace out, Crypto Tom, man. H have a good have a good time. Three dot three green dots in the eight minute. Let's check out the eight minute. <laughs> That's right. We penetrated the cabinet. We have penetrated all the cabinets. Even Mr. Putin is a young global leader. What's next? Oxygen tax or sex tax? Well, both, because you know when when you partake in the uh, in the uh, physical relations, it increases the oxygen uptake. So the two go hand in hand. All right. What about my chickens? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm super convicted about those chickens. You know, I the, the worst part about chickens is they're all cisgendered. You know, I can't stand that about them. What's up, Market Matt? Dang, guys, you know, it's getting close to midnight. I have to do the dishes because I promised my wife I would do them. My wife's not feeling good. Shout out to Big Bus 28. And uh, here I am trading instead of doing the dishes, and there's no volatility. As soon as I close this live stream, man, we're going to dump down to Sheol. And, uh, or maybe we'll pump up. But we do have a very local bull div here on the one minute. Let's see. What else we got going on in these parts? Ooh. Eh. 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 I want I want something violent to happen. I, I feel <laughs> I feel it in my bones, you know? I agree, right? Chickens not only are chickens cisgendered and transphobic, but they also eat our bugs. All right, is this it, guys? Is this the dump we're looking for? Is this it? Come on, Bitcoin. Jason Casper needs a new pair of shoes. Man, that yellow X was just titillating our fancies over here guys but now it's gone come on make your move what's it gonna be the market maker is gonna drop us down here grab the liquidity recover the vector candles ladies and gentlemen happy days yo 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 ladies and gentlemen what's it gonna be come on make your move make your move right now what's it gonna be we got the red vector candle right here on the red minute Shout out to Tino from Traders Reality. So Benjamin feels a slow move up to twenty two six hundred. 
yeah, I, I could see. I, yeah, if we are going to get a move up, it would probably be a slow, painful move up followed by, by, by a dump. But, um, man, I just don't know. Okay, here we go. All right. Come on, Bitcoin. Come on, Bitcoin. Give us some crazy... Some crazy PA. Some crazy... Some crazy Pennsylvania. Ugh. Come on, let's get something violent on this on this stream. Let's let's go. Let's go. Twenty one six seven nine long in the house. Interesting. Shout out to Spartan Wrestler. I've been working on my Tino impression, bro, so I appreciate that, man. Let's check out that four hour candle. Starting to look long and dangly. <laughs> yes, yeah, it really is starting to look long and dangly. That is one long dangly purple candle. All right, now we got people shorting. We finally got some shorts opening up here. Look at that though, right? Value area high. Respected. Respected. <laughs> but, um, hmm. Yeah, it's looking, I can't say it's looking too bullish, though, guys. I can't say that. We got some shorts coming in. Not too many. It's not over the top. But there's an uptick in volume right here. A lot of actually, yeah. Now we got some some real shorts coming in here. So high volume, lots of shorts. Oh, okay. Now now let's see what what goes down. Check out our one minute. Oof. Not a very. This is this. I mean, it. You know, it's obvious that we're at a support, but uh, you know, we're not. We're not being get, given any kind of. Uh, set up at least not now We don't have the cheeks, you know, we don't have these types of things here All right, well Let's go. Let's get violent. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, let's dump it Let's dump it, baby. That's what I'm talking about Come on Come on, dump it. <laughs> Does, has Tino ever said the words dump it before? Come on, dump it right now on stream. Let's dump this Ponzi. 
Sorry, Tino. I know that's a very bad representation of your of your of your voice right there. I'll do better next time. Let's see if we can hit another TP on this stream. Do you think we can come down to 20,700 on this stream, guys, in the next 15 minutes? Come on, make your move. What's it going to be? The market maker wants to dump it down lower to 20,700, grab the liquidity, and then bring it back up so the retail trader FOMO's long. The market maker's building his shorts up at these highs. The retail trader's entering his longs here. The vector candle's going to get recovered over here. Come on, what's it going to be? Happy days. Goku says to put tape on the camera. It, but Goku, if I put tape on the camera, how would people see my beautiful face, man? You know what I'm saying? I mean, guys... At least like the video because this hair you're not going to find on other YouTube channels. And definitely not these glasses either. So, uh. Come on. Let's dump it down more. <laughs> Short money tastes so good. Going to take my wife out for a fancy dinner tonight. Wait, it's almost tomorrow. Dang it, guys. I'm supposed to be going to bed early. I'm supposed to be on a new schedule. It's going to change my life. Right. I've got to go pick up my daughter. I've got to go pick up my daughter. You know, guys, there's only two things certain in trading. Number one, the market maker is going to control everything. Number two, I've got to go pick up my daughter after the London session closes. The little market maker is right over here. She has to go to school. She has to learn how to trade. Whales are long. All right, well. Guys, I actually am going to have to head out. I apologize. I know things are getting juicy over here. But, um... Let's check out this four-hour candle, man. Poof. Is that not a juicy-looking four-hour candle or what? That is a pretty juicy-looking four-hour candle, I'll tell you. Oh, right. Don't forget to move my stop loss. Good, good point. That's true, but even if I get stopped out up there, it's going to be a $100 loss. It's not even that big of a deal. But uh, you know what would suck if I woke up tomorrow and we, like, came up and hit the golden pocket and I got stopped out and then we dropped down more? That could happen. Oh, but the golden pocket's changed now. So let's check out where is that GP now. Ooh, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I just want to put my stop loss just above the golden pocket. Let's see what that will be. A two hundred dollar loss. Give me a sixteen fifty profit. Yeah, I'll take that loss. I'll take that risk, man. Cause here's the thing, like the thing is. Oof, can you imagine though if I ended up leaving all this profit on the on the table here? But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the trade open. I, I think we could dump more overnight. <clears throat> En la noche, Anichoshev she will dump. Right? Divergence on MACD. Yeah, we do have four hour divergence. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. We do have four hour divs here. We do have a four hour div right here, but. Yeah, we we do have a four hour divergence and we have a one hour divergence. And we have a Yeah 
I, I, this is support, guys. This is support. Like, let's be honest. This is really important support right here. Right? This is support. This is the macro value area high. And it's a, it's not a level, right? It's a zone as well, right? We come down to the macro value area low, and we get a big move to the upside. We come up to the macro value area high, and look, we get a little something there, but then get a little more. So we'll have to wait to see what happens, guys. I do have to go to sleep, honestly. I have to. I have some stuff to do. I have to head out, but I'll go pick up my daughter. But you know, the thing is. Well, this doesn't sound like Tino at all. It just sounds like some random guy from the UK mixed with a little Australian. Sounds like some guy from the US trying to do an English accent. But, you know, I've got to get some sleep because, you know, health is wealth, right? Health is wealth. And uh, so, you know, got to make sure that my, my brain's ready to go tomorrow. And so I'm going to head out. Um, but God bless all of you. All right, so let's see here. Oh man, you know, I don't want to go, guys. I could stay up all night and just watch the price action. Ooh, we've got a bullish divergence on the three minute here. Crikey, crikey, we've got a bullish divergence on the three minute over here. It's a croc. It's a crocodile. Outback Steakhouse. We've got bullish divergence even on the six minute here as we come down to the value area high. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh my goodness, we've got some. It looks like we might have some absorption of shorts going on. Yep, look at this shorts getting absorbed on a very low time frame right down here. So you could tell them right here. Look at all these shorts opening up right here, getting absorbed a little bit here. We've got some longs coming in as well. Clearly the levels being respected into some capacity, right? Clearly to some capacity the long the levels being respected here. We've got divergences on on low time frames as well here. My goodness, I could stay up all night and just chat away with all these things. Crikey. Well, we're bouncing off a spider line as well, hey? A tarantula line. I call them tarantula lines. Well, we got tarantula lines. We got slight absorption here. We've got... I mean, it's I'm slight, right? It's slight, right? But we got shorts opening up here few of them opening up a few of them opening up here at key support mm, let's see. hey shout out to Tom O'Brien who says that's a pretty good accent <laughs> hey thanks man you know I do my best All right, guys, I am going to head out for real. But God bless everybody. God bless y'all. Um, oh, man, it's tough to leave, right? You guys know what it's like to be sucked into the charts. It's like uh, you can't leave, right? You can't. You just can't. I'm just going to sit here all night and watch these little candles. This is little candles. Oh, excuse me, guys. Yeah, I do have to go. Well, everybody, I do pray everybody listening to my voice is blessed. In the name of Jesus, the Messiah. You know, I don't take myself very seriously at all, but I really do take my walk with the Lord seriously because if not for that, guys, I would be extremely nihilistic and would have no purpose in life. So receive this blessing in Hebrew. Um, it goes like this. Yevarechacha Adonai Vishmarecha Ya Er Adonai Panav Elecha Vichunecha Yisa Adonai Panavalecha Vyasemlecha Shalom Beshem Yeshua Hamashiach Elohe 
Yisrael, which in English means, May the Lord bless and guard and protect you. May he shine his light upon you. May he have grace upon you. And may he turn his face towards you, give you peace and completeness in the name of Jesus, the Messiah, the God of Israel. Amen. I pray everyone's super blessed. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.